Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Um, welcome to my channel. As you know, the routine, it's a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, share and subscribe. I wanted to just talk a, bit, a little bit about this drive-by shooting in Euston, London, which happened yesterday. And well, for those of you, I'm sure most of you know what the definition of a drive-by shooting is. It's where someone is aiming at somebody um, in a crowd or wherever. They, they take aim while they're in a car or a moving vehicle and they shoot the target. And it's a way of fleeing from the scene of the crime. It's a way of not accepting any responsibility. You don't care who you shoot, who you hurt. You just drive off, fire and drive off. How cowardly is that? Four women, well, four females, two critical. One's a 48 year old woman, the other's a seven year old child, both with life threatening or life changing injuries. And this happened near a church near Euston Station. I think the road was Phoenix Road and it was while a funeral was going on. So what was the beef? What is the message? Do they want the UK to become like America? Do we want to get out of the airplane onto into the airport and see all our police officers and all our border force officers with guns in their holsters? Is that what we want? I mean, when you see armed police, they don't behave like a regular police. Armed police are much more aggressive, much more fearful. They have different rules. And if they discover that you have a gun, you're not going to be treated very nicely. Now, what surprises me is that in London, where you have all of these cameras who can tell whether somebody's on the phone, who can tell whether or not you're, you're um, speeding. All of these cameras designed to catch drivers out. Why wasn't there a camera that was able to get that, those drivers registration plate? I don't understand that. They must have been speeding at some point. There has to have been a camera that would have captured them. And unless they've taken a stolen car, it shouldn't be too difficult to track them down. So this is going to be short and sweet. I don't think I've forgotten anything. All I've said is, you know, um, drive by shootings. They're done by cowards. It's like a hit and run, not accountable to anything. You don't want to pay the price for your misdeed. You just don't want to stand up to the consequences. It's very, very irresponsible and heartless. And that's all I've got to say. Bye bye.